Hello everyone and welcome to the show. On this episode of the show, I am going to be going out a bit. You know, so you know that mostly on this channel we talk about Lagos real estate, we talk about Lagos developers, we talk about Lagos real estate companies and the likes. So today we're going to be leaving our comfort zone, so to speak, and I'm going to be talking about developers, real estate companies in Abuja, at least the ones that I work with, you know, and we're going to be ex-raying them. And the very first developer I'm going to be talking about slash real estate company is Cosgrove. So Cosgrove is owned by, you know, Umar Abdullahi and it's a real estate company that is way into technology and they determine the brilliance of technology where the strength of architecture you know they deliver smart estates inspired by timeless designs and innovation automation you know future ready homes basically and cost growth has been around for quite a while you know quite a while and several administrations here in nigeria you know by political timelines and cost growth is kind of like i would say they are the biggest you know in abuja and they are mo- the most luxury brand as far as luxury goes and they have a couple of um, locations and they have in in abuja there they have in Wuye, they have estates in mabushi they have estates in katampe by ministers hill maitama they have estates in guzape and they have estates in wuse I hope I'm pronouncing it well, you know. So, first of all, let's start with Wuye. Actually, this is where Cosgrove started development. This is where they actually started building their very first estates. Where in Wuye? and their pioneer project you know measures a 4.32 hectare and consists of 160 housing units and the house types there include the five bedroom fully detached option with one maid room and they term it the oak then the four bedroom terrace with a one maid's room with one maid's room which is the acacia then we have the maple which is the three bedroom apartment with one maid's room and the penthouse which is a four bedroom luxury penthouse with one maid's room and nearby locations to this estate is the wuse 2 and the silver bed galleria the airport which is just 28 minutes away and of course the diplomatic drive which is just seven minutes away from this estate so the next estate in um, by Cosgrove in Abuja is the Mabushi Estate, you know, actually the Mabushi location rather in Abuja by Cosgrove and Mabushi is west of the city center and lies, you know, there is lush and green neighborhood here around Mabushi and Cosgrove Smart Estate here measures about 0.834 hectares consists of 22 housing units you know located in a serene environment with quick and easy access to the shehu yaradwa way and the nnamdi aziki way expressway house types in this estate include the oak which is a five bedroom fully detached duplex with one maid's room and the acacia which is the four bedroom terrace with one maid's room and nearby locations include the jabi lake mall includes the next cash and carry the blue cabana restaurant and cafe the airport which is 35 minutes away and of course nine minutes drive to the central area of town in this area so the next location my cause grew in abuja is katsangbe katsangbe <laughs> i never know if i'm pronouncing this right so katsangbe is by ministers hill maitama and it's known as the geographical midpoint of nigeria you know, Katanke offers a very breathtaking view of the capital city and this estate is just facing the road a few ways from the road and Cosgrove Smart Estate here is strategically located and an easy admission to the Nam Diazikiwe Highway 
via the 1.5 kilometer access road and this road was built by Cosgrove itself you know these real estate companies they have money like that and you know living in this location is very very super convenient if you want to get to other major parts of the abuja town and this development is a total of approximately 38 hectares and phase one has been also sold out being 11.9 hectares and phase two is 23 hectares with an additional dedicated 2.99 hectares for recreational facilities these projects consist of a wide range of house types which include the villa which is a seven bedroom gated villa with maids quarters the acacia which is a four bedroom terrace with one maids quarters or one maids room then you have the oak which is a five bedroom fully detached duplex with one maids room and you have the maple which is a three bedroom apartment with one maids room you also have the oak view which is a five bedroom semi-detached duplex with one maid's room and then you have the penthouse which is a four bedroom luxury penthouse with one maid's room nearby locations include the airport which is a 30 minutes drive eight minutes to the central area you have the spa supermarket and we say two which is like a nine minutes drive from this estate and 15 minutes to the transcorp hilton and 10 minutes to the eagle square also quite interestingly this developer has some developments a development and estate in guzapi wake up to the site of nature and it's very green and hilly in fact it's called guzapi hills and you know that's 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 the neighborhood of this place and this i think this is a very the smallest estate that they have and but it's highly luxurious just five units of a seven bedroom gated villas you know and this is for the creme de la creme because this is not just terraces or apartments here we have villas seven bedroom villas and seven bedroom villas can go as high as 300 million naira you know has a swimming pool located in the highbrow area of guzapi and it's 35 minutes from the airport 10 minutes to the grand square supermarket in central area one minute to channels tv 10 minutes to transcorp hilton and nine minutes to the ECOWAS Secretariat Aso Corral. <laughs> so um that's that about the estate here and you know the estates in all of this uh smart estate and smart homes by Cross Groove have similar features you know security health relaxation and you know just home automations and some of them include in um, all of the estates come and all of the units will come with central security control with a hub you know a state-of-the-art artificial intelligence security surveillance system you have the fiber to the home ftth you have smart street lights you have a swimming pool and a gym in all of the estates you have uninterrupted and treated water supply a playground and greenery world-class utilities and facility management services uninterrupted power supply with auto changeover and you have a commercial hub you know that you can go get wherever you want to get in these estates so um we've been talking about you know all of these estates owned by cost groove and the pricing is a bit of um you know a, a conundrum not really a conundrum is always changing and something that i noticed um as opposed to lagos maybe maybe similar to lagos is that pricing in abuja is just very very tricky it can go up at any time i had a client reach out to me last week and he wanted one at katangbe and i think at the time he was selling it was 85 million or so something like that but he had added five or ten million by the time he reached out to me and funny enough it was not even available you know, that's another thing i was going to say you know abuja people seem to really have money and most of all of these estates in uh um, by cost groove in abuja have been sold out and the ones that are available are only off plan they've started um, building you know but they have already been sold out and i asked for a payment plan for my um for my client and they said two weeks <laughs> and i'm saying wow like lagos can get like up to 24 months of um, stretching out your payment but because of the market is responding you know the people that basically hold the wealth of nigeria and quotes stay in abuja you know so you know you can see why 
and how these estates will be selling and how they'll be giving you a two weeks <laughs> payment plan but for the similarities just like landway i did a video about landway i like the fact that they have these fancy names oak acacia maple you know all of these things that they are calling the estates it's just it's just for branding and it's also just you know it actually really sounds nice it rolls <laughs> rolls around like over your tongue you know sounds like, so i think this is a similarity between lagos development and abuja development taking in case in point this um, developer and you know they are doing well for themselves i still personally have not been able to snag even that client that you know he pulled off he pulled away when he heard that two weeks you know i still haven't been personally able to snag an abuja client and maybe just maybe this money that they are talking about in abuja is overrated so abuja people prove me wrong hit me up like i talked about you know the pricing the pricing is something that you cannot really predict so that's why i didn't really go into pricing in this video so if you want more um, if you want more details on the pricing or if you have any of these homes that you're interested in contact uche for more inquiries and let's get you started on your journey so that's for cause groove real estate developer real estate company in abuja those are their estates those are their locations and those are the futures of their estates